Hi, it's Chantelle here. This is Fibrific HQ. We haven't done a tour for a little while, so I thought I would do a tour. Um, first things I've got to do here is to get us into the shack. So currently my yard, my shack is part of the yard. So let's flip everything around, give you a bit of a look of the behind the scenes of the setup of basically what I come to each day to get ready for a video or just work. Okay, so this is my, this is Fibrific HQ. This is it, I'm just gonna, no, nope, there we go. This is Fibrific HQ. We are in a six by three meter shack that has been dropped in my front yard. So we come over here, we open it up. Okay. So we're in the shack. We've just got our overhead light on. The first thing I see is this packing bench. Um, and the little view out the window, I've got a curtain I've got to put up yet, which I have not done. Um, so we have our packing slips printed out and then we can uh, use those packing slips to pick everyone's orders. There's all our bits of stock. Get you up and over the wheel here. And then we've got some more chow goose stock there. So this is our YouTube set space. Now, because we do have such a small work area, this doesn't get left in the day to day to be just set up as a YouTube set. So each time we set it up, we have to roll everything out and put it all back. So I'm just going to bring you over here a little. So what we've got here is a bit of a Chantel eye view of our YouTube setup. So, there's our little table, the mic's ready to be put on, that light there has to still be turned on, all the lights are off right now. Um, we've got another light up there, we've got a bookshelf full of paperwork, that's exciting stuff, and then we've got our overhead camera. So that's not set up yet either, that'll depend on what kind of video we do, so that's currently out of shot. So what we need to do to make this work is we need to go and turn some lights off. You can't have your overhead fluoros on at the same time. It creates like a, a flickering thing. So let's blind you with the light. We've got one more over here behind you. So here we go. So this is our space now, it's well lit. And what we've got set up, <laughs> Just bringing you back around here so you can have a little look out of the glare. What we've got set up over here is our, is that, yep, that's our camera there. So this camera here has its own little screen that we can flip out so I can watch what's happening here. And it's got its own power supply so that I can not run out of battery, which is never good. Um, we've got the lab microphone set up for that one. This camera's currently got a little Rode Ferry microphone sitting on it, so if I'm going in and out, it's because I'm moving around. You can see I'm all sweaty and gross. I'm not quite ready for a video yet. I'm just going to swing you around because framing is everything. So we have our beautiful shelf with all our goodies here or what you were seeing before with just a swing of a camera was the bookshelf and all the other bits. So we have to utilize our space carefully um, and frame our video accordingly. So I'm just going to do this, okay. All right, so normally I wouldn't do any of this sort of recording of a video and intend to share it live like this. I would have everything framed and, you know, tidy and pristine and cut and ready for you to just enjoy the actual content of the video, whether it's a tutorial or whether it's a live stream. So for a live stream setup, it's very different. Well, it's similar, but there's more because we also have to incorporate that we need the laptop over in this space. So I'm just gonna turn you around here and and show you the desk space I have to work with. So during a live stream, I will have this space here that I work on. 
the laptop will sit here that runs everything. The camera has to connect to it. This camera has to connect to it. So I have had to purchase um, different sort of equipment to make it so that that can happen because a DSLR camera can't just plug into a laptop. So we've got connectors, we've got cables, we've got all sorts of bits and bobs to make our live streams run. And while making a live stream run is more, a bit more stressful during the actual process, once it's done, it's done. Whereas when we make one of these pre-recorded videos, it's easier to set up. I'm gonna say it's definitely easier to set up because it's a camera, it's a microphone, and you're off to the races. So, I mean, that's probably oversimplifying it a bit. It's a camera, it's a microphone, it's an empty memory card because you don't wanna be recording a video only to realize you have to start again because you weren't recording it onto an SD card. Most cameras will tell you if there's a card in or not. Some are less clear, but the cameras I have are very like, you don't have a card, put your card in. So I'm very glad they do because believe it or not, when I started setting all this up, I didn't have a card in this camera. So luckily it flashed up like a big like blah, blah, in my face to put a card in. So then what we do is well, after we set all this up, we um, go through and actually do our recording. After the recording, the video gets edited. It gets any branding put over it, um, which I have uh, Jacob who does that for me. So I, I used to do it all myself, but as the business has grown, the hours I have each day are less. And I still love making these videos and I still love creating the live streams and all that sort of stuff. I just needed to work out a way to free up some time. And it was really hard for me to let go and to let somebody else do the edit because I didn't think anybody else would be able to edit it um, in the way I liked it being edited. And I know that sounds really, um, I don't know, not, it, it, was, it was a bit selfish of me um, and a bit silly, really, because all someone has to do is watch some of your videos. And the thing I realized very quickly on is I had taught myself to edit throughout the first few years of my video production. So if you go back and you look at the videos that I have in my back library, videos from two, three years ago, um, A, the branding was different, we rebranded. But B, the, the quality is very different because I learned on the run. So in some videos, the audio was terrible. Some videos, the lighting was terrible. When I very first started, I didn't have lights like this and I didn't have this space either. So what I did was in my living room of my home with a big glass sliding door, I would film using natural light. And natural light is fantastic, but there are some things you have to understand. A, you have no control over that light. If, the, if a cloud comes in front of it, it will change all your white balance settings. It will change everything. Um, the other thing that can happen is it can be too bright. And in some of my videos, I look like I'm a ghost on screen. Now, I still uploaded those videos because I felt that this was a learning curve because my whole business, my whole business mindset is to make the next thing less crap than the last. And that is to remind me that I don't know everything, that I can learn something from everything. And this is true for my video production, this is true for editing, this is true for knitting and crocheting and spinning and dyeing. I'm constantly learning myself. And so you guys get to come on this journey with me while I'm still learning. Some of you watch my dye streams and see how fearful I am of doing speckles or trying something new. And it's because I don't want to mess it up. And it's just yarn, <laughs> I could mess it up and it's not gonna kill me, but I don't wanna do that. And then I have to remind myself every now and again, your ultimate goal is not to be the best. My ultimate goal is to make my next thing less rubbish than the last. And it's just to take these little learning steps all the way through my yarn craft adventure. So that's why I make these videos. I don't know everything by far. Do I not know everything? There is so much to learn. I'm constantly over on Blueprint watching their tutorials and not just their tutorials to learn what they're doing, 
but sometimes you can get like a little shot of like a cameraman moving around or, you know, and I get to see different camera angles for things to try and work out what's a better way to teach you from my channel. So I don't just take away lessons in how to teach and lessons in technique of actual yarn crafting. I'm also taking away like or gleaning little sort of hints here and there on video production, on audio production, on all of these things. So I'm constantly learning through Blueprint, which is used to be Craftsy. I've got a link in the comments down below. Um, and so, you know, these they have amazing video production, but they have whole crews. And as, you, as you've seen here, there's no crew. It's me when it comes to the video production. On die stream days, I have helpers, which I am so grateful for. I have Andrea who comes in to make it so I don't have to walk away from the camera so much. She brings me the water, she brings me the yarn so that I'm here constantly, you know, on camera working, showing you all the pretties and fun. Mostly every now and again, I still run away. And then I also have Spanner Chick, AKA Kim, who comes in to read me the comments because when I'm dying, I do have to concentrate on what I'm doing a bit harder. So when I'm doing a normal live stream, I don't have to concentrate so much on what I'm doing generally, and I can watch the chat more readily, um, which is the, the, the fun of a live stream, it's being there for the chat. Whereas with these videos, it's so you can sit down when you're ready. The thing with the live chat replays is sometimes I feel when I'm watching a replay that I get, I'm missing out on sort of the live action fun, like I'm getting to watch it after the fact. So even if I type something in that is like perfect for that moment, that moment passed hours back and nobody's there to respond. And it's still there and it's still part of the chat for the next person. But I don't know. It's just being, if you can't make it to the live chat, these videos are really important. Um, I, as I said earlier, I love making videos. And it's something that I've been sort of backburnering for a while now is these pre-recorded videos. I've been trying to get back into the flow of it and trying to get back into it, but it's not trying to make the focus again. It used to be every Monday without fail, I'm making a video and I would have to build the set in the middle of my lounge room, set everything up, um, film the video, pack everything down and then sit down and edit it over the rest of the day on Monday because I'm very slow at editing as well and then upload overnight and back then when I was doing it our upload speeds were a joke like we joke about how bad they are now now they're five times faster than what they were and a 15 minute video could take me eight hours to upload um and that's if it didn't crash I could wake up the next morning and it'd be like oh look that didn't work you have to start again and that, that was great I loved that that was my favorite part of the morning no never um but and I used but I used to love it like because it was like this this routine my family knew every Monday was busy and so now I'm trying to get back into the swing of it again um I have a dedicated space now so even if my family are home I can come out here and I can do this. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to be getting back into the swing. I'm going to be getting more tutorials out, more reviews out. So if you've got any suggestion for any reviews or tutorials that you want to see, you let me know. Pop it in the comments down below. Hit me up over on the Facebook page, the Fiberific Facebook page, or if you're a member in the fun zone, pop it in over there. If you're not a member in the fun zone, why not? Go and pop it in. You have to answer a couple of questions before you'll be let in. They're very friendly questions. It's more to keep sunglass sellers and, and uh, scammers out. Um, so you'll understand when you see the questions why we're fairly certain that uh, no scammers are getting through. Um, I think that's it for today. I'm going to go off and make another video here using this other setup. And uh, I will chat to you all again. Live streams are on Thursday, 10 a.m. to 11.30 my time, so that's Brisbane, Queensland. Um, we generally put some little timers and stuff up over on the Facebook page so you can keep an eye out. We put a, a thumbnail up the night before so that it'll actually show you in your time zone how many hours away it'll be. So it'll be a bit of fun. But um, that's it for now. I'm going to go off and do this other thing just here and I will catch you all in another video. Bye.